have the decision right here. I can fight it all the way down just like this, or I can get up here, right here, and I can just let all the tension release and let it fall. Oh my God, I'm just playing with him now, yeah. Oh my God, what she's saying, say it loud, yeah. One of the biggest studies to go against the things that I'm talking about is a study done in 2015. And the study was performed, this, this was a meta-analysis performed by Brad Schoenfeld, who's, who I respect a lot, he's respected in the industry, him and, um, other, him and others, looked at eight different studies. And these studies all looked at rep tempos. And how does rep tempo change the muscle's response as far as hypertrophy goes in growth? So in this, study, this meta-analysis in 2015, they looked at these eight different studies. In all eight studies combined, there was around 187 total participants. So there's under 200 people looked at. Of the 200 people, they were all untrained. Huge deal. One of the first things you learn in exercise science is being an exercise science student. In the first eight to 12 weeks, beginners all respond pretty similar to exercise stimulus. It doesn't really matter what you do with them. They all pretty much have a similar hypertrophic response because they're going from an untrained state to a trained state. Now, what this means is that in research, this makes it really hard to know what is causing what. So super important that in this study, under 200 people were examined of those 200 people, all are untrained. Now, what they did was they looked at rep tempos between 0.5 seconds and up to eight seconds. The conclusion of this meta-analysis was that there was no difference in the muscle response and change from the group that performed fast rep tempos and slow rep tempos. Now, the conclusions that have been drawn from this are that time under tension doesn't matter and that rep tempo may not matter. What are the problems? There are many. There are many, many problems with this. And this is a great lesson for hopefully all of you. Information is the most accessible than ever before, but it's also the least analyzed. So we were able to produce information and a lot of it, but a lot of it's really shitty. Mass volumes of content, shitty content, because it takes time to produce good content. You can't produce good content in masses. It's, it's the same with knowledge. You can't analyze a billion things. You can produce a billion things, just not very well. So in this study that is so cited to be against time under tension, we have beginners that looked at rep tempos between 0.5 and 8 seconds. Why should a beginner be performing explosive movements under two seconds? There's really no, no good reason for that. The second thing that these authors did was they concluded that rep tempos over 10 seconds, their, their results were so bad, they had a negative response to hypertrophy. And this would be one of the biggest cited things against time under tension saying, well, you know, these long duration reps showed a negative correlation with hypertrophy. Well, the issue with this is that not only were under 200 people trained, this is advanced. Time under tension lifting requires skill. This has been a point I have driven home so many times. My bicep has no idea that I have 15s in my hands. It just knows this freaking sucks. This is advanced because what happens is as a beginner, it's really easy to throw weight around and sling weight around. What's really hard, you can't take a beginner and say, hey, I want you to tighten your muscle here. I want you to actively generate tension and I want you to basically fail towards you know, rep number eight because you are generating that much tension. What you're doing is you're taking a very advanced methodical type of muscle contraction to an untrained individual and telling them to do it in a research study. You can't do that. Load was not even accounted for in these eight studies, which means that participants who are doing longer time under tension protocols were most likely using less weight. Well, what's another thing I've talked about? 
using less weight is more advanced because you then have to have more of a, a mind muscle connection. So they were drawing conclusions with the most advanced form of lifting with untrained lifters, then saying it has a negative correlation. So they only pinpointed one thing in the study as being negative, and that was that time under tension uh, per rep of 10 seconds or over had a negative correlation with muscle growth. So they threw it out instead of saying, wait, maybe this is advanced and maybe this actually shouldn't even pertain to this particular study. Why are the two extremes looked at at all? Because you shouldn't have a beginner doing explosive reps for half a second. This is a major thing I wanted to, to bring up and how flawed it is. I am constantly looking at research. I'm constantly looking at, at things to discredit even the very things that I'm teaching you and have yet to find them. And more than anything, since we have so many um, expert people on YouTube, and I'm using that quote unquote, is that be careful who you're listening to. Be careful what research you're citing or looking at. Are you looking at this research? For instance, you could take this and say, rep tempos over five seconds show no positive benefit to resistance training. And I just showed you, literally this study should basically be thrown out due to the fact that everybody was a beginner. Because, once again, to drive this point home, beginners are the most receptive to muscle growth response. You can take a beginner and put them under any stimulus and they respond to very similar. It doesn't matter what they're doing. You just put a weight in their hand and, and they're gonna see changes. And these studies were performed between six and 12 weeks, which is the exact window of opportunity for a beginner. Everything in, this, in these studies was pretty much done to show a, 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 uh, an application that really isn't there. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this beneficial. If you did, please hit the like, hit the subscribe button. This will help me and ensure that my content reaches more people on YouTube. If you want to join the MGB officially, you can scroll down in the description and there are two links. One is to the Apple App Store and the other is to the Google Play Store. And you can join my app for free and view some free content. And I also have some really in-depth programs. I have a complete blueprint that's gonna walk you through how you can build muscle the most efficiently and the safest way possible. I hope you join me next time.